It's got a loud engine, a big nose, and a stable base to do mad skids. But is the new Mercedes AMG 2020 the best GT3 car on iRacing? Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Emily and welcome back to Overtake.gg. This is actually my first video for Overtake, so nice to meet you. The Season 3 2022 iRacing build has been out for a few weeks now, and new to the game, we have a brand new Mercedes GT car to race. Actually, we have two new Mercedes with the new AMG GT4 car as well. It's pretty much like the GT3 car, but it's smaller and slower and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a GT4. So the new GT3 car is based upon the previous AMG, which started racing way back in 2015. In 2020, it got a cool update with some new aero and some other electronic changes, some kind of quality of life changes and some kind of aesthetic changes as well. It's still got the same naturally aspirated 6.3 litre V8 as the old AMG, but in my opinion, it sounds sort of better in the new car. What do you think? Does it sound better or worse? Let us know in the comments. This new car comes in at a pretty acceptable cost of around $450,000 new, and I found one secondhand going for around £250,000. But luckily for us, it only costs $11.95. Who said iRacing was expensive? The new AMG is slotting straight into the VRS GT series, Fanatec GT3 Challenge, the Nürburgring Endurance Championship, and the series that I'll be racing today, the IMSA iRacing series. This week's race is at Watkins Glen, one of the fastest tracks in America, and home to the six hours of Watkins Glen, one of the oldest sports car endurance races in the world. Is this car the real deal? Is it fast? Is it worth the money? Let's go find out. Okay, so I'm on the formation lap for this IMSA iRacing series race. We're about to go racing. Um, this is multi-class, so we have the LMP2s ahead of us. They've gone away, <laughs> but basically, We've got LMP2s, so we're gonna get lapped. We'll see what happens. Get to five, go. Um, but we are starting third on the grid. Uh, knowing how these races go on iRacing, when they call the green flag, we'll probably get the green flag before the last couple of corners. So we'll probably still be on the boot when we get the green flag. And as soon as we get the green, we can race. So it's a little bit different to things like ACC. So we'll, we'll probably be single file pretty early. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, so I think we're about to go green here. Get ready, going green. Pace car's about to pull in and they'll wave a green any moment. Just gotta be a little bit careful as a car on two cars to me inside. Pace car is in. Green flag, green okay. flag. Okay, so we actually gotta do a jump, so we jump the guy in second. Um, bit of a cheeky start there. Cool, so the guy who qualified on pole actually qualified like half a second faster than me, so he could potentially drive away, but um, Let's do our best to hang on to him for as long as possible. Just be careful in these cold tires. Whoa, we have some crashes in the LMP2s. Go left. Go left. And it looks like there was a crash in the GT behind. Maybe they crashed into the LMP2 that was stopped. So yes, 45 minute races. On iRacing, the way these races work is you do need to take a pit stop. It's not required, but your fuel tank won't make it the whole way. <laughs> um, so the fuel tank will only do maybe like 30 minutes or so. So um, we will need to stop for fuel. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> that LMP2 is damaged. Gotta be really careful. Oh, maybe they're not damaged, they're just... That's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, we don't need to stop for tires, so we'll just be taking fuel in this race, which means we can fuel save if we want to be a bit cheeky and try and jump the leader, but I don't think we're fast enough, so I think we just drive as fast as possible. Oh, it's got a lot of understeer into this corner. Otherwise, first, like, early impressions of this car at this track is it's very stable, which is sort of like the old AMG. It's it's super stable, and at a track like this, when you're smashing the curbs through the bus stop, it's it's really nice. But there are some points where it could be a little bit more lively, I guess you could say. So yeah, as this is a GT3 car, 
it does have a lot of driving aids. In my opinion, it has too many driving aids. I'm not the biggest fan of driving aids. <laughs> you might you might be able to tell. Um, but basically, we've got traction control. We've got ABS. So two things that will stop us from from shunting. Generally, uh, if if you've not played iRacing before. Um, Maybe if you've come from something like ACC, for example, you can... How do I say it? Whoa, right up to the wall. Um, you tend to use the driving aids a bit more in ACC than you do in something like iRacing. And I mean that in the way of, like, um, in ACC, you want to use the ABS on the way into a corner. Like, you actually want to brake at 100% and then just get on the ABS. Um, but in iRacing, you don't. You, like, don't want to trigger the ABS. Or if you do, just, like, very, very slightly. A little bit of a different technique between the sims. Oh, it's a bit loose. The one thing I do say about these multi-class races, though, is that the race doesn't really start until you start getting lapped by the, by the prototypes. So we're just kind of warming up. Once we start getting lapped, that's when it truly starts to kick off. Oh. Holy. <laughs> Someone's having a bit of a drama. Um, yeah, oversteer. I was complaining of understeer, but now it's starting to uh, move around a little bit. So I've got the leaders of the prototypes coming up on me really quickly. Left side. Still there. Clear on the left. Clear left. I probably could have turned in. Um, I think Cooper thought I was, but I got understeer, so it's convenient. Don't get oversteer, don't get oversteer, don't get oversteer, don't get over, don't, you, better. All right, this is gonna be awkward. Car on your left. They're on the left. Right side. Clear. Not bad. So compared to the old AMG, I, this one feels a little bit different, but it's sort of, it's definitely, it's definitely an evolution rather than a revolution, I think. It feels very similar to Drive, but it just, it looks better, it sounds better, and I feel like it's slightly more progressive in the slide. Whoa. Like it's, right it feels kind of similar to the old car, but I feel like it's, it's a little bit more catchable and... I don't know, it feels like it's giving me more more feedback, basically. So I'm not really sure what I feel about this track layout. Um, there's a couple of different layouts of Watkins Glen that you can race. Whoop. And this is the boot layout, so it's like the GT layout, basically, for, for sports car racing and things like that. And they also have a different layout without the boot, um, which they use for NASCAR, and I love that layout. <laughs> And maybe unpopular opinion here, but I think the boot sucks. <laughs> You're allowed to disagree with me, but like the boot section of this track, I think I think is the worst. Um, but I really like the rest of the track. Maybe a controversial opinion, but yeah, I think the cup layout is the best version of this of this track. Looks like you got about five laps of fuel left. All right, so we're coming to the end of our stint, our first stint. We've opened the gap to the car behind, so I think we're in a pretty comfortable position at the moment in this car. Yeah, we've got the fuel alarm. It's <laughs> a good sign. We have about one lap of fuel left. All right, so we need to be in this lap. All right, let's do it. Box, box, box. So the guy in second um, took less fuel than us. Um, well, he actually, he can do another lap. He saved some fuel, so maybe I was burning too much. That's it, go. Left side. They're on the left. Oh. All right, let's do a pretty nice out lap here. I, I feel like they're beating us on fuel, so we've got to be a little bit careful with how fast we go. So he made about a second on us, the, the guy in said did the pit stop. Now. Which is fine, I guess. Alright, that should put us back in second. Right side. This will be close. Alright, back in second place. Clear. Right side. Clear. Honestly, like I I like this car. I think it's quite good. <laughs> 
I feel like this car is is fitting into like an important kind of I don't want to say niche, but like a, like an important position in the um, in like the list of GT3 cars that you can drive. I think because we have a bunch of like really strong kind of mid-engined or rear-engined GT3 cars with the Porsche, and you've also got the Lambo and the Audi. Technically, the Ford GT as well, and the McLaren. Like you've got a bunch of like good um, like good mid-engine cars. But if you like a front-engined GT3 car, your only choice is really um, the BMW. And I think the BMW is an, a pretty okay car, but the BMW tends to drive like a like a sedan almost. It feels like a cross between like a V8 supercar and a GT3 car sometimes. And this car feels more like a GT car. This car feels racy. It feels low to the ground. It also feels a lot more, um, On your right. how do I say it? Like quicker rotation speed than the BMW. I don't know if that's a way to describe it, but like it feels like it, it, it turns a little bit better than the BMW. So it's, it's a little bit more like geared for, for going into corners fast, like the MR cars maybe. All right, final lap of the race. Let's bring it home. It's been a bit of a lonely one. <laughs> Just chilling in seconds. Um, but it's been a really great opportunity to get my head around this car and, and how it drives. Um, it's super stable. It's quite lovely. Sounds really good as well. All right, and check it flag across the line, P2. Well done, little Mercedes. You did great. So after racing that race, I can safely say that the Mercedes AMG 2020 sits in a, a nice place in the current feel of GT3 cars. I can't tell if it's the fastest, but it's right up there. I think it's around about as fast as the BMW and kind of the Ferrari at the moment seem really strong. So I would say it is right up there. Maybe not the fastest, but pr pretty, pretty fast, I would say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and for more racing, iRacing and sim racing content, remember to subscribe to Overtake, uh, like the video and all of that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.